Hi everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing day. I am absolutely loving the Mob Wife makeup, so I thought I'd create my own version of it for the middle-aged woman. You know, I love a bit of animal print, I love all the fake fur, wouldn't go for real fur, but it's just, it's just a bit of me, it's just absolutely up my street, whether it's just because I feel like that's completely glam or what, I don't know, but I love it, so I'm gonna make, recreate my own version of it. But if you do like this type of video, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because who doesn't love a bit of leopard print? Who doesn't love it? So, I've already got my eyebrows done and I'm going to use my Naked Heat palette and my Doll Beauty. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the name of this palette is. It's just the Doll Beauty palette. It just says Love, Sam and Danny on the back. I don't think the name of it, but it's all matte. So I'm feeling like those browns are just definitely like the Mob Wife look and the Naked Heat and Oldie Butter Gooder and again the whole like brown warm but then we're going to put a bit of black in there. So I'm going to put a bit of tape on my eyes just because I feel like I want it to be really snatched. I know it's not always that way but I feel like that's really going to emphasise the look for me. So for my brows I did use my NYX, uh, the brow glue and my benefit precisely my brow and the P. Louise base in a 05. Okay so brows are taped I'm just going to bounce that primer in a little bit more because it creases and I've been sat here for 10 minutes with it on and oh that's made my eye water and um, I can't tight line anymore for some reason my eyes are completely watery now and I can't do it I don't know why just is the way it is so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the lid first and then blend that up into the uh, transition colour. I'm just going to take a q-tip on this eye though. Okay so I think so for all over the lid I'm going to go in with this shade from the Doll Beauty palette and I'm just going to put that all over. I'm taking a pretty stiff brush and I'm just going to pat that in. I'm just not going to go as, like, as high as the crease because I want to transition it upwards and I just feel, I mean some people are kind of doing like an all over lid colour and then for some people it's kind of just like winging it out and being a little bit more subtle um, and I'm anything but subtle. That colour is just... Okay so I'm not going to go right into the inner corner either because I want to kind of lighten that up a little bit as well. And what you can do to really make it pop is you can put like a brown eyeliner all over your eye as like a base kind of the same way you would do with a black. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pull that out a little bit and bring it into just the corner slightly. Don't be afraid to use all of your lid space. Just don't be afraid. Okay and take a fluffy blending brush and we're just going to transition it now. I'm going to take, I want to take Chase of this colour here but I can't decide if it's shimmery or not. I'm going to take chase up this colour here and I'm just going to blend that right up. You could use a more orangey tone if you wanted to but I feel like those two colours together are just going to look really nice. But that's looking really nice like just blend 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 and just blend it outwards as well. See even though that looks very very light for me it is kind of like the perfect transition because I'm very very pale skinned. Now I could wing it out with a little bit of a black shade but I think I'm going to go in with ashes. Oh should we go in with the dark one in the dog use palette? Mm. No I'm going to go in with ashes and I'm going to kind of do the lash line and wing just slightly. Hence the reason for the tape because I cannot wing my own eyes. What you can do is to kind of separate the two, two shades and take a smaller fluffier brush, like a more flat one. And I'm just going to take Sauce, which was next to that lighter one, and just take a tiny bit and just pat that between the two because I just think that will really like set it off. There's not that much difference between the two colours just feel like it would really like graduate the colours together. Okay so for some reason the only detail brush, br brush I can find is a flat brush rather than a flat angled brush. I'm just going to go in with Aries and I'm just going to 
kind of pat that outwards and across the lash, lash line. I may even have to go in a bit of a deeper colour. I may have to go in with black. And then take the original fluffy brush and just blend it. Because it's not a harsh wing, it's just a wing. I think I'm going to blacken that. Okay, so I've just pulled out my Morphe uh, 35A palette, the Up Till Dawn Artistry, Artistry palette, because, literally because it's in the drawer next to me. I'm going to take the black out of this. This is part of my Project Pan update video coming soon. Check it out. And I'm just going to pat along the lash line. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Take a little bit more of the black and just pat along there and just bring that in slightly you want to try and keep your face straight as well face, keep your face straight uh, keep your head straight as well otherwise you just end up with like a weird wing and then I'm going to take the denser brush that I had the original brown on the original dark brown and just buff I'm just going to keep repeating the process until I get what I want which I think is just li literally going to be like the ones and I'm gonna, this is just gonna be all mattes as well, no shimmers. The mob wife doesn't do a shimmer. Okay, and a moment of truth, we're gonna take tape off. Let's do this eye first. I should probably do it the other way. Yay, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go and tidy up my eyes and put some lashes on and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so lashes are done. Lashes just really just, they just set off a look, don't they? They just really do. So I'm going to do my under eye and again, deep and smoky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original like smudgy brush and I'm going to go in with the very darkest like brown in the Urban Decay palette, the Naked Heat, and just run that along my lash line. Who remembers the Naked Heat? Who remembers the Naked Heat? It was, it's like such an oldie but a gooder. I mean, is there any new Naked palettes that I should be trying? Because I feel like they've just kind of like dropped off the face of the earth. Okay, I'm going to tap off any excess and really use glue on my finger. Really use that to smudge those in. Um, I think my lashes, lashes are like kiss, kiss lashes as well. Uh, the ones that I've used before and I'm just reusing for this look because I think I've only used them once I have got in the habit of like wearing a pair of lashes, taking them off, putting them somewhere and like never using them again, I mean what a waste of money and then I'm going to take the black and I'm going to run that really really close to the lash line and then smudge that in with the brown again and I want like a creamy matte and this in the naked is a little bit shimmery so I don't think I'm going to use that and there isn't one in the doll beauty so I'm going to use this one cloud fall from the morphe palette although I have got this little mac one here that might be nice a little mac one there this is called orb satin that will do. I'm just going to take that on like a fluffy-ish brush and just kind of do the brow bone because the mob wife looks that I've seen they don't generally highlight although I may highlight and not use blush and I'm also going to take that on a more dense brush and just put that on the inner portion of my eye there probably should have done that before I put lashes on but here we are just to kind of open the eye up a little bit, you see the difference? I just kind of blend that into the deep brown as well. But you see how it's like opened up the eye a little bit? Because it is quite heavy makeup and it can make your eye look quite closed. And when you're a bit older like myself, then you don't want your eyes to look too closed. It just make your face look really, your eyes look really small. I'm loving that though. This is just like really like back in the day, this is just what I used to do and I used to love it. Why did I stop doing it? Okay, so I need a primer and I'm gonna use my She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. Love this stuff. It just goes a bit yellow. Let's take some of that. 
I think I might have put a bit much on. We're just we're just here, we're just here. That's it. Why have I put so much on? I'm gonna dip the finger in a little bit. It's, it goes a little bit yellow but then it looks nice. I just it's just like I don't know. It's quite it's very hydrating as well, I feel and my skin has been like super dry. So this is the perfect. Absolute perfect. Okay, and if you haven't noticed, I've got a huge spot here and a huge spot here. So I'm just going to pot conceal a little bit with my NARS pot concealer. Uh, the soft matte concealer, and this is in the shade vanilla. Put a little bit on there. And a little bit on there. I can, I can zoom you out a little bit more now. That you're on top of me. Okay, and I do feel like it does give a brighter under eye. Now, I don't want my under eyes too bright because I am a little bit old. I'm a lot old. So I'm going to mix two concealers together. I'm going to mix my Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer, which I absolutely love. This is one of my all-time favourite concealers. I'm going to mix this with another all-time favourite concealer with the in the shade 05, which is the pink shade, the Maybelline Instant Erase Concealer. So I'm going to mix those two together. But rather than put them straight under my eye, I'm going to mix them on my hand kind of like warm them up a little bit as well the the only thing i hate about this is ugh, let me know in the comments down below if you have one and it's a bit like that mix that in with it just to give it a, a bit of a pinkier undertone beige pink undertone that's got now and i'm just gonna a little bit on my nose there to kind of carve out my brows it uh, brows my nose even a little bit down there, a little bit up there. So now a little bit of that goes a long way and that is more the Maybelline one that really just like comes out like, like it's on speed. I'm going to take my little beauty sponge. Now I've got a pack of three of these from the pound shop. If you're in the UK you know that the pound shop and everything's a pound, everything's not a pound anymore, things are a bit more expensive. And I got these three for a quid and they're really good. The middle one's not that great, the, the middle size, but the little one and the big one spot on okay so they look yeah they look fine uh, i think i'm gonna go in with i'm gonna go in with a liner a creole liner in my waterline before i do anything else and i'm gonna use my made by mitchell tiger's eye all smudge no budge eyeliner this is the first time i've used this and this is the shade tiger's eye which is a deep brown i'm just gonna put that in my waterline like that i think that's like really deepened it up really set it off i'm not going to do my under eye lashes yet because i need to close that drawer and i'll just get it everywhere if anybody wants to know what's in that drawer it's all my foundations because i'm sat in my she shed on a monday night doing this look because what else am i going to do on a monday night um if you do want like a little tour of my she shed it's only like a little six foot room but just let me know in the comments down below my husband converted a shed to a she shed for me that's why i have this so foundation I'm just gonna use it and not tell you what it is Lu uh, uh, Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation now I want it to be matte but my skin is quite dry so I'm gonna go in with this kind of like luminous -y foundation and really powder it down so take the sponge the power shop sponge amazing I mean look how big it's gone it's, it's brilliant and this isn't my shade it's very dark for me but I feel like that's kind of like the mob wife look i may go in with a light foundation over the top just to kind of like mix it in i don't know yet so don't forget down the neck if you're using a darker shade and then if you see it like round my eyes you take that smaller sponge see how that blends it the two together that's why i always do my concealer first look how that blends the two together little it's like less harsh now and the medium sponge that i got in that little set which oh it's better than it was before i was squeezing it it was kind of like having dinsen and stuff but it seems to have sorted its head out now i'm gonna do kind of around my brows with that one i've chosen this foundation as well because it is full coverage it's full full and that is the mob wife look the the makeup is full it's glam it's just everything 
that I need in my life. Everything that I just want. Okay, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna cream bronze. Of course I'm gonna cream bronze. Because I can. And I'm gonna take my pink honey. Now I've used this recently and it was absolutely amazing. Bronze bronzing face frosting. And this is in the shade Milky Mocha. So I'm just gonna take this on a Peel Louise brush, pick up on the brush and then just kind of pat the excess off on my hand and then we're going to pat that in oh yes if you can hear a whizzing going on that is my laptop it's getting quite old now so whether i just need to replace it but they're so expensive and i'm just gonna lightly do my jawline try and get rid of those jowls okay so now I've tapped all that through I'm just going to take the same brush and really kind of like blend it in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to take ooh, this beauty blender and pat it all in okay so I've got two liquid blushes here that I want to try you know you really what's happening I've got two liquid blushes here that I want to try. I look a bit muddy at the minute, so I want to try and get rid of that kind of like muddy look now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more concealer highlight kind of on the forehead, on the chin and through there now. And bounce that in. That's better. A little bit more highlighted. So I've got a soul suit, I've got this juice pot, um, beauty crop, lip and cheek tint, but I don't know if that'll be a bit pink, and then I've got this soul suit blush, which is a lot more muted. I think it's that one. I definitely think it's that one. So I'm just gonna put that on before I change my mind. And I'm just gonna bounce that in with the sponge. Okay, so under eye, and of course I'm going to take my Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe in pink. I'm going to put some in the lid. And then what, I, this is pink six it is. And I'm just going to balance that concealer in again. Now it's sat a little bit, I feel like if I let it sit a little bit and then rebalance it in to get rid of the creases that I have less, less creasing. If that makes sense and then I'm going to take a Trigwell puff and just pick some up put the excess on the back of my hand and just lightly very lightly tap that in and bring that up a little bit as well just to give me that snatched look so it's highlighted kind of here a bit and I'm just going to brush that off before it gets too greasy okay and before I do the rest of the powder I'm going to powder bronze and powder blush or powder contour and powder blush and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit I mean who remembers this I mean oh my god probably shouldn't be using it but I am going to and I'm going to take this on a Beauty Bay kind of angled brush and I'm just what I used to do is just pick up all three and I'm going to do the same today I'm just going to kind of pat that up do the forehead as well now Part of the reason I've decided to powder first is because if it does look too much, I can use the other powder setting powder to kind of bring it down a little bit. But, fuck, oh my god, I'm loving this. I'm so here for the heavy makeup. Here for it. Uh, so I'm going to use my Sigma Blush Berry Love blusher. And that is the shade. Love it. I love the shade. And, oh, I feel like the brush I've used is a bit stiff. I need a less stiff brush. Why have I picked that one? I need to blend that in now. Kind of blend it into the contour and upwards as well. Okay, absolutely loving that. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Hydrate and Fix Primer before I set the rest of the face just because I'm really going to be matte. Just to kind of just hydrate it a little bit. It's, it's, you know, you can use your priming spray or your setting spray in between layers 
and I'm going to use my She Glam Insta Red Air Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. Now I've all, I haven't used the under eye one obviously, uh, so I'm just going to use a powder one. Now this is fine, fine powder. So I'm just going to pick some up. Now I've only used this once but I remember it being amazing. I'm going to pick some up on my Trigwell Puff. I'm just going to kind of start in the middle of my face and work outwards. Try not to go over where I've already used powder products because even though I want to be matte, I don't want to be too matte. But you see how that's taken that shine away at the top on my forehead. And I'm just going to chisel. I mean seriously, who remembers baking the jawline? Now we're just going to brush off all of that white powder. And I need some lips. I 100% need some lips. I'm thinking like a deep purple. I know the eyes a lot, but I feel like a mod wife, a mob wife wouldn't have like a nude ombre. I mean she might do. Depends what she wants. Depends what any of us want. But I'm thinking like deep purple. Maybe not too deep. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so back in the day, Urban Decay Blackmail was, that was my lipstick. That was my lipstick. I do feel like this whole Mob Wife vibe is definitely taking me back because apart from highlighter, I would have definitely done highlighter. But yeah, absolutely loving it. So I'm going to go in with my Essence Lip, Lip Liner in Miss You Much. I've moved my mirror because I've moved you guys. I like this bit sticking to my. I'm just going to line my lips. Okay, and I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Black Veil lipstick. How dark is that? Definitely have to be careful with this because you make a mess of it, it's going to be everywhere. And it doesn't make my teeth look very white though. So this is it, this is the finished look. This is my take on the Mob Wife makeup look. Really, really heavy, over the top, just loving it, here for it. Um, I mean, not everyone will do it as heavy as me. You just do it the way you wanna do it, the way you feel like doing it, but I'm absolutely loving it. I just feel like it's just really taking me back in time and you know I'm with my leopard print top and I haven't got any chunky gold jewellery um, that's not really me but everything else you know what in the cat's later is this look I absolutely love it here for it I've said it a thousand times but if you do like this video then don't forget to like subscribe thank you for watching the whole video because it's probably really long and I will see you in the next video guys bye